All right, my battery ran out. I'm picking back up, but I was saying the armrest was pretty sturdy, and I was thinking I wasn't going to put this screw in, and I decided against it. It's sturdy. It was sturdy then without this screw, but it probably wasn't going to stay that way. So for long-term stability, uh, I got a, uh, a drill bit and drilled it in. Unfortunately, my chuck on the drill scraped that a little bit, not the best feeling to uh, buy a brand new armrest and then mar it up. But um, anyway, a uh, good thing I didn't have my, uh, my camera wasn't running because of the battery or uh, I would have had to uh, censor some of the language. So um, yeah, but it's on there very well. Uh, you know, I mean, it's still an old armrest. It's uh, faded. Uh, a bit dirty. I did try to vacuum it, but all in all, for a 32 year old armrest, uh, it's good. And uh, it'd be nice to uh, not have to close my door by sticking my fingers here where I can just grab the armrest and uh, do it that way. So um, I think that's all I got for you. Uh, if anyone knows anything about those little styrofoam blocks, um, which by the way, I lost one before I had a chance to glue them on. But um, uh, where the, did they come with the door? I assume there's not a GM part number, but if anyone knows anything about them, if there is a part number or a, a stated reason, um, we can guess at the reason, but if there's a stated reason why uh, those blocks exist, I'd love to hear it in the comments. So uh, anyway, watch a ton of videos on this stuff and happy to see that people are, are giving some love to these old trucks. And um, uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them below. I'd be happy to talk about it.